My name is PCSO Jenna Smith. Uh, I work for Blaken Police Station at Chester. My role within the police is a community support officer and I do with all things like low level crime prevention, reassurance visits and work within the community to uh, combat crime and make people feel safer. The best locations for storing your bike securely are places where there's a lot of traffic flow, footfall, uh, best locations would be as well, well lit. Uh, in your garage at home, uh, make sure it's locked to something inside the garage as well, not just in the garage. Sheds, uh, used bike rails, bike racks, um, and if you have nothing like that, then the best thing to lock it to is a, uh, a lamppost under light where uh, there's a lot of CCTV cameras and a lot of people in the area. The best locks for securing your uh, bikes are uh, D locks, chain locks, um, cable locks. Um, anything where um, obviously it, it's quite secure and that no one's going to be able to cut them easily. Each bike lock has a different category. You've got gold and silver, bronze. Obviously bronze is the lowest and um, this is more if you're going to leave your bike for a short period of time within a location that you, you've used before. So i.e. a local shop where you're just going to pop in for two minutes. Um, if you were going to lock your bike somewhere where you know have previous knowledge of the bike theft's been there, then you would use a silver lock, and that would be your, your D locks and your cable locks. Um, above that would be if you were leaving your bike for a long period of time and it's high value as well, in an area maybe you're not really sure of, in a town centre, you'd use a gold lock, and uh, that's your D locks and your armoured cable locks for that, that sort of thing. Secure your bike with a lock, uh, it's the best way to use more than one lock. So securing your wheels to the frame and then locking the bike itself up to, to uh, an immovable object. Um, it's also best to um, remove any small parts and accessories like your saddle, um, any, any loose fittings like your lights, reflectors, anything like that that could be deemed as expensive, water bottle. Um, quick release wheels, you can remove them with a skewer lock to stop anyone from taking your wheels because obviously a lot of bikes, the locks are quite, uh, the, the wheels themselves are, are near enough expensive as the frame. The benefits of registering your bicycle are that if it unfortunately it was stolen, if we recover that bike, we can actually get it back to you a lot quicker and it's hopefully within that time. Um, we register here at Cheshire Police with Immobilise. We put a small uh, bike chip into the frame of your bike. Once that's in, it can't be removed. It's we then add that your details, your frame number and your address and all your, your details to the National Property Database, which means we can run checks on bikes. Uh, what happens then is if we come across any bikes or any criminals on bikes we have a, a scanner a bit like how you'd scan a dog or a cat and uh, we scan it and it comes up with your information we can then tell straight away if that, that, that bike is stolen it means then we can recover a lot more bikes to the, uh, the correctful owners the best way to prepare for your uh, journey on your bicycle is to uh, plan your route first Plan where you're going and, and estimate what time, how long it's going to take you and um, that you're wearing uh, the correct helmet uh, that fits properly and also high visibility clothes where if it does turn dark or if the visibility is quite poor, drivers are going to be able to see you and other road users. Also uh, check your brakes are working, your chain is lubed, uh, that your lights are working, that they're free from dirt. The most important rules to follow while riding your bicycle is to keep your safety uh, key. Uh, make sure that you're not putting yourself in any risks, uh, not doing anything daft, not uh, you know going out with no bike lights on. Uh, general rules is don't cycle on the pavement. Um, it obviously causes issues for pedestrians. Ride only in single file when it's busy and uh, built up when there's a lot of traffic. When overtaking things like parked cars and things in the road, make sure that you. you, you given enough space for yourself and all the cars getting around you as well. Make sure that you can hear that you haven't got headphones in, that you can hear what's going around you and um, just make sure that you, you look where you're going and make sure that you don't use the mobile phone whilst riding because obviously you're going to be distracted.